and welcome, welcome back. back to M&T Travel with your boy Timus Marie and now we got Zeus here actually he just wanted to be in the video for today so I uh, can't <laughs> get talked <laughs> sorry buddy uh, <laughs> don't, 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 don't. oh man he's crossing his legs he's such a distinguished gentleman aren't you but um as you see in the name of this video man we gotta talk about this so the first time we went to Nassau we did not get off the boat. For a few reasons. All right, honestly, y'all. What was we... your take? Why, why, why did we get off the boat, baby? Okay. <laughs> we put up the Nassau. I kid y'all not. I get to the Lido deck. It's Marie and I. I look over. And I was like, yo, are we in Charleston, South Carolina? <laughs> like, I was like, and look, like I did not think we left the country. I really thought we went for pork and with the with the Coco K, did a whooshy wash and went right back up to like Charleston. I was like, are we in Charleston, bro? Like it isn't like Charleston with hills. So, and, like, that, that's all. But um, I thought it looked like incredibly mid. Um, it was just. It was just mad touristy from the looks of everything. I was like, yo, like, what is this? Like, what are we doing? Like, it literally looked like to get off the boat was gonna cost you $100. I don't know, what, what, what did you think? Yeah, I mean, we, we did a lot of research before the cruise, and so we saw a bunch of excursion options. There's, it's not like there's a lack of things to do in Nassau, just nothing appealed to us. Like, most people go, and the big thing is, ooh, Atlantis, Atlantis. Mm -hmm. like. Go to a resort. Go to the water park. And it's just not That's something we're interested in doing because exactly. we don't want to pay hundreds of dollars yeah. to go on a water slide. If you watched our last video, we talked about that quite a bit. Uh huh. Absolutely. <laughs> but I, 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 and it seemed like people were just getting off of the ship, which is a resort in itself. Exactly. You hit it on the nail, baby. And then paying to go to another resort. There you go. And it's I don't <laughs> understand it. And so I didn't see very much to do. And then we pulled up. We were initially going to get off and like walk around, but we pulled up and then it looked like Charleston. And then there was just like everything was under construction yeah and then it was like it looked like it'd be like a two mile walk <laughs> yeah. to the first block that wasn't construction <laughs> yeah so it was just like nah we'll just stay on the boat today yeah so like again we looked at it long walk everything construction everywhere and again okay i think the big thing was so our itinerary came from coco k to nassau that's coming from a place where there's a bunch of free activities mm -hmm. off the boat mm -hmm. to then the next day, everything going to run you $25, $50 here, $45 here. Get into a, dollars Yeah, there. get into Atlanta. They want, two, they want two bucks right there off the top. Like, yo, let me get that before you do anything. Like, like kid you not, their family's probably spending a whole rack, like a whole... A whole 10k at Nassau, and yeah. I know that sounds crazy, but there is an easy way to spend close to ten thousand dollars in Nassau alone. I mean, like I say, if you got everybody, let's say you got a family reunion, right? Everybody want to go to Atlantis. Mm -hmm. Like fourteen people in your crew. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm not. Yeah, I was saying everybody get a little dinner there. Everybody get all a little... the food and drinks off of the exactly. boat exactly at Nassau come out of your own pocket exactly it's not that's all I'm saying you gotta pay for all that and then you gotta pay for whatever excursion you gotta mm -hmm. pay to go on the beach you gotta pay it's just everything is a cost and again this is an established oh my gosh it looks like he's doing bad things to me don't <laughs> don't do that at the shop right now buddy <laughs> love you okay um like everything there is just predicated on tourism which all these places are, but the difference with Nassau and every other place is that Nassau knows it, and this is where a lot of those ships flag fly their flag of convenience. So they get guaranteed money, basically. We'll put it like mm -hmm. that. Like they get a lot of money going there. But yeah, I mean, it's just like a tourist trap. So um, we we stayed on the boat, and let me tell y'all something. At first, we did not feel like we missed a single thing that trip. We I still met, don't feel like, we missed anything. Like, like we met some great people on the ship that day who shared the same sentiment. There was actually a Canadian brother and sister. Shout out to them if y'all watching this video. Um, they were just like, "Yo, when we left, there was snow on the ground. 
we're just happy not to be in snow. We're going to stay in the pool as much as we can. And they were like, you know, we're just here to enjoy the cruise. And they didn't want to spend any extra money. To which I tell everybody, do not let these travel people try to get you on that. Again, we're travel people. We, we have a channel. We're coming to you. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we want content. But we're not going to sacrifice our integrity for the content. You do not have to pay all these places your good hard-earned money on your cruise. That ship is amazing. Whatever ship you are on is amazing. I don't care if you're on the Carnival Sunrise from 96. They have a <laughs> lot of I said sunrise, sunshine from 96. They have a lot of great things on that ship that are great for you to do for you and your family that you can enjoy for the included purchase of the ticket. And so yeah, and something I liked too was because everyone got off the boat Oh. We, were, we had a lot of space to be in the pool. Flow rider was on. Nothing was crowded. I went down the slides that Slide were on was the on. ship. Like there was every nothing was crowded, and we didn't have to wait in lines for anything. Staff was staffing. They was out Everyone there for the fact. Yeah, staff yeah. was still doing everything <laughs> like, they would be doing on, uh -huh. a, on a boat day. And again, shout out to the staff. I know they're going through that shortage. Everybody who's working there, man, keep it up. We, we really appreciate you coming from the MT Travel. We really appreciate y'all what y'all did. We got video for them as well coming up. But like, yeah, like I said, like everything was still going on. There were a bunch of services on the ship. And you just stay on and you and, and you get the ship to yourselves. So if y'all want to know what it was like to cruise uh during COVID, because I can't say pre-COVID, but during COVID, stay on the ship during the port day. Just one. Like choose a port where you like, I don't want to spend too much money here, do it like that. Again, it'll be great. Uh a wind jam is still going. Yeah, so, places are still open to eat on the boat. Yeah. Bars yeah. are still open. Also, if you get that drink package. And you go off that boat. And that's all. Guess what doesn't work? That drink package. Drink so, package. <laughs> so, so now we paying for drinks outside. We already paid for drinks inside. So now I need to stay your ass inside. <laughs> but, uh, but, but, uh, but yeah, so like we, we used our drink package that day. I ain't gonna lie. Your boy was on anything possible that day. Um, it was pretty lit. Shout out. Um, <laughs> it, it, it was pretty lit and we enjoyed it now here's where we gonna hit y'all with a 180 when we go back to Nassau on this trip we're getting off the boat we're gonna get off the boat even if we have the same feelings <laughs> we're, we're getting <laughs> just off the to boat. walk around uh -huh, we have like, to walk around because one thing we realize is you can complain or you can do nothing but you can't do both so, so if we gonna make this video telling you what why we didn't get off, we gotta make a video about getting off. So this time we, we will be getting off the boat. We will look around. Probably go to Senior Frogs. Probably spend twenty five dollars each, getting some wacky drinks. Um, and we did find a resort from the Alyssa and Griff channel that we want to go to. That was around like fifty dollars a person. I believe it was Margaritaville, right? That's the one we're looking at. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. Was Margaritaville uh -huh. on, uh, it was on a, Nassau. Yeah, it was it was Margaritaville. Uh, we're gonna take videos there. Probably vlog vlog a little bit there. Go to the straw um, market. Yeah, go, go go to the straw market. We're also um uh, I just invited all my friends on this cruise. So we're actually gonna try to make this a little bit of a group cruise. So let us know if y'all want to come. Again, we'll put everything down in the description. Feel free tag along. We want to see everybody out there. We realize that it's in August, but there's no better time to cruise than in August, man. I mean, it's pretty. It's it's warm everywhere, so when I be warm in Nassau, right? You know, come on out there. It's gonna be perfect day, Coco K. But we are getting off on there because again, we need to. I feel like that's the one spot where we want to see a little bit more of the culture. And we know that we're going to Margaritaville. <laughs> and you're probably not going to be the culture. <laughs> but it's not going to stop there. We're actually going to get some cons while we're out there as well. Like I said, just, just see stuff, man. You know, um, I get get off. So, um, again, if you don't want to spend your money, don't feel like you need to spend your money. Don't go out. If you do want to spend your money, there are great ways to do so. We're going to show y'all with that. But that's why we didn't get off the first time, man. Um, I don't yeah, I don't feel bad about not getting off. I'm not. I ain't gonna hold that set of it. I do not yeah, feel no, bad. Me neither. Yeah. I don't feel like we missed anything, but I am excited to get off this time uh -huh. just to see. 
And this dude is just excited to be on the couch now. By the way, we're on the couch now. So, uh, um, uh, the one from Ikea. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the one from Ikea. So if you didn't see that video, that should you should go check that out. But uh, we went to Ikea. Uh, we went to get stuff for the channel. Make this place better. I don't even know how to describe it. Better. Um, I mean, <laughs> wanted to make it better. So we got some stuff from Ikea. Y'all going to be seeing those come up in the video. But first we want to get this couch right here. Talk to y'all more comfortable. We can have lives. You know, just really, really make it so we can enjoy what we give to y'all while being comfortable. That's it. And having this 85 pound dog in our laps. <laughs> Ooh, not okay. knocking the camera over. Yeah, not, not like knocking the camera video. over, right? Exactly. Yeah, like our first video. So now that he has somewhere to sit, he is okay and doesn't mind being here for the whole video. But y'all, don't forget, if we tell y'all one thing, what's the one thing we tell a baby? Subscribe! 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 subscribe all right? <laughs> uh, it's okay, lady. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and don't forget your sunscreen. All right, we'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace. Peace. Yeah. Great job, man. <laughs>